Hey everyone, Midnight Nova here, and today we're going to play some more V Rising. So I've been wandering around, gathering resources, and getting ready for the Nikolaus the Fallen fight, part two. Just getting everything we need to make more brew, more health, and uh, buffs. I got the Merciless Copper Sword, so we should be as good as we can be to restart that fight. Um, I'm going to unlock a random technology in our research desk because I have over 50 paper. So let's find out what we get. We get panels, uh, tool storage, workshop walls. Okay. I was hoping for um, a new flooring because we don't have the, um, the tailoring floors. That's part of the adventure. What are you going to get? <laughs> All right. Well, we got some more vermin salve as well as the blood rose. So should be as prepared as we can possibly be. These jewels are buffs for my spells. So this shadow bolt ornament reduce cooldown by 8% or I can give my shadow bolt knockback. Spell modification. Is this permanent? It's a jewel. So is this little square here like um, a jewel slot? Jewel equipped. So I have the jewel equipped onto my, so my shadow bolt will knock back the target if I hit them with it. Interesting. Perfect. Fix our ring. All of our armor. All right, it's nighttime. I think we're as ready as we're gonna get. So let's go to the forgotten cemetery. Oh, we got some more snow flower. That's for later to make more of the enchanted brew. So we're gonna go. We're, yeah, it's right in the middle of these two different way gates. So we'll go here. And, uh,. We will run there. We'll just run. Um, I also want to see if I can get some strong blood on the way there. Once we're there, it's fine because uh, low percentage is there. Once we're there, it doesn't matter because uh, we'll be in the the cemetery and that'll be covered for right this moment. I just need to make sure that we get there before it turns day and that we arrive there with some good blood. So anybody got some good blood? V blood. Oh, that's Tristan the Vampire Hunter is wandering around there. Anybody here have good blood? Two percent, five percent. Really? Nobody? Is any decent blood? Eight percent blood. You've got decent blood, twenty eight percent. Give me your blood. Come on, come on, come on. Little more. I just need to get you down just enough so I can feed on you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we got some blood. It's decent enough. Some crit strike chance. That's fine. So, cemetery. Here we go. Now. Yeah. 
Okay. Grave dust. Might as well grab grave dust. Grave dust. And a rat. Just in case I want to make some salve or something. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're doing all right. Whew, those skulls are not cool. Not cool, you guys. Um, staircase is right there. These guys take way too many hits. Way too many swings. I don't like that. You guys are not... Especially when there's like... Six of them. In a small... Area. Oh, not a... Pair of assassins. better at avoiding damage. Never possible. Ugh. That friggin' skull! I don't like it. So here, we're gonna do our brews. We got one brew. We got two brew. And I'll do a vermin salve for now. Okay. So got a few more guys to take care of and then we can make it to where we want to go. in here. Perhaps that's one thing you can use around here to make bone and uh, the plant fiber makes uh, vermin have. so maybe that's the sign that you should use. I didn't mean to use another bro. I meant to use a vermin have. Darn it. Okay. Oh, still hit me. You jerk. Okay. Hey, fellow vampires, enjoying the video so far? Why not give the video a like? If you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make a comment down below or share with a friend if you think they'd enjoy it. Every little bit helps, and thanks for watching. We're, we're the best off we can possibly be. 
An interruption. better. stuff easier No, 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 no. Is he dead? Get the blood. Did I get him? I got him. Yes. Ooh. I got Nicholas of Allen. I got him. Yes. Yes. Ring of the Dusk Watcher. And some sort of jewel. Unsullied heart. Ooh. Topaz. Rats everywhere. Oh, that was so intense. Uh, I am I am breathing hard, <laughs> you guys. I am breathing hard after that one. Morning Lily. I don't want everything around here. Mostly just bone and stone and wood. And wood. Copper ore. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Plant fiber, wood. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not sure what did the final blow. It must have been, um,. My, uh, dash. My dash must have been what, what got him. With the burn. The, um, ignite effect. Because I didn't, uh, 
finish him off myself. He, he died while I was taking out his uh, skellies, but we were definitely able to hold off the uh, the waves of undead a lot better with this uh, merciless copper sword. Whoa, yes. And uh, I wish I could use these tables or get this paper. <laughs> Container? Oh, grave dust. Morning, Lily. Oh, paper. Oh, containers. It's in these. Um, grave dust and grave dust. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> we made it. We did it. Yeah. Let's jump down. Jump down from here. Get the heck out of here, man. Whoa. Let's go back to base. Actually, let's go back to Waygate. No. No point in going to the Waygate because I got research. I got research on me, so I can't use it. You can't teleport with knowledge on you. But we got a new ring. We've got the knowledge for a new ring, at least. So let's go research that and find out what that's about. Ooh. Pretty sure we didn't already have that. That was the Ring of the Dusk Watcher. I don't know what, right? I don't have that one, right? Dusk Watcher. I have Dawn Runner. I don't have Desk Watcher. So let's go find out what that is. Is that a more powerful ring? I don't quite know. By the way, we defeated Nikolaus the Fallen. He has fallen once again. Back to base, triumphant. Just barely survived that one, too. <laughs> Honestly, that was way too close. Again, we... We could have been killed with all of our stuff and had to retrieve it once again. But this time we succeeded because we were just careful. <laughs> I was so careful with in that fight. So I have the Ring of the Dawn Runner. What does Ring of the Dusk Watcher do? Let's find out. Dusk Watcher. Dawn Runner, Dusk Watcher. Okay. And let's see, go to the workbench. Dusk Watcher. It's another level 12 ring. Um, spell power. Dusk Watcher does physical power versus max health. And crit chance versus movement speed. So, it's not necessarily better. It's more physical attack oriented rather than passive buff. Dawn Runner gives me max health and movement. This gives me attack power and crit chance. So, mm, they each have their up pluses and minuses. Oh well. Not huge, but not nothing. <laughs> not nothing. That's, that's for sure. So, what do we get from Nikolaus the Fallen? We've got a new spell, Corrupted Skull. Uh, that's a projectile that does 80% magic damage and inflicts Condemn. And it does bonus damage on enemies that are almost dead. But most importantly, we've got the Paper Press. We got Plank and Copper Ingot. Oh, Sawdust. Yes, we got tons of Sawdust. So Plank and Copper Ingot. Let's, let's make it. Let's make the Paper Press. So, 
Production, refinement, we've got paper press. And this, ooh, that's a, that is a big machine. So what does this do? And what floor does it need? It needs library flooring. We don't have library flooring at all. So this takes uh, plant fiber and sawdust and makes it into paper. Yes. Um, thread paper to make a scroll. Tech scrap. And scroll to make schematic. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of sawdust and plant fiber. <laughs> That's one resource we've got plenty of. I want this sawdust. It is. And we got the the plant fiber. So we'll put this and this and this and then this and this and this and that. It makes it quickly too. So that's good. One paper. So this is what I mean when I say that this can unlock basically the rest of this research because we might need to <laughs> make a lot more sawdust and a lot more get a lot more plant fiber but if we can make unlimited paper just from stuff we got laying around here let me make some more sawdust by cutting all this uh, wood into planks and how much paper do we have right now we got 11 paper Merciless Night Stalker Boots. That's another source of paper. Let's put that in our Devourer. Yeah. Get that. And we got another 10 in here. So we can unlock another thing, basically... In a few minutes. We'll have enough paper here. <laughs> paper press. Oh, look at that. Look how fast that's going. All right, let's see if we have 50 yet. 54. All right, here we go. Another research. Random research. Let's discover something. Maybe a new floor. Maybe uh, unlock this merciless uh, copper crossbow. Glass windows. We've got... Glass windows. Okay. Cool. We should probably work on our castle at some point. So one thing that we unlocked last episode when we fought Tristan the Vampire Hunter is we unlocked the ability to make great swords. However, I don't think we can make those yet because we don't have any iron. And I didn't realize that Tristan was actually in this, um level of enemies above the above act one so the bandit king we need to defeat the bandit king first and i don't know where we get the putrid rat yet you can't you can't track the the rat because he's he's hidden so we'll have to figure out how to find him uh i think our next boss is uh, Polora the Feywalker. So, let's track Polora. All right, interesting. Very far away. Where um, you are in that direction. You are to the west. Most of the enemies are to the west, except for Except for the... That bear was right next to us the whole time. Is our blood rose done here? Can I harvest this? It doesn't show like... Blood rose. Okay. Okay. 
So is this like a blood rose bush that will regrow? Because the bush remains. Like these plants are still here. And so is the Hell's Clarion. So like, will I just have blood rose bushes that will occasionally regrow? Because it's only been like a few in-game days since I planted those in the first place. So hopefully we'll just have a, a little supply of um, blood rose that we can use to make more brute. I require more resources to make I need that. more leather and plant fiber. Get some more leather. Hmm. I didn't remake my tannery. All right, all right, tannery. Tannery. Plank and hide. Yeah. We almost have enough paper. Never mind. We got enough paper <laughs> for another research topic. Another random one. Let's roll the dice. Where are we gonna get? We got minor sun resistance brew. Okay. Hey, we can make another brew. A brew that increases sun resistance by 25. We have one of those. I haven't used it yet though. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to make, uh, let's say a tannery. Yeah, let's just make a tannery right there. We still got plenty of blood in here. Henry. Go ahead and get some leather going. And... Plant fiber. So we can make more... Water skins. I do want some more healing potion before I go for... Pelora the Feywalker. Let's get some copper. Let's do some bear form. Because it, it seems like fun. Arr, copper ore. Okay. <laughs> more copper ore in our uh, smelter. Our furnace. Here we go. And then we're gonna put these up here. Fill those up with water. Make some more Blood Rose Brew. At least one more. I am missing key ingredients. Yeah. One more. Alright. So we've got some heals. Furnace. Put that in there. Alright. So we got another 50 paper. Roll the dice, what's it gonna be this time? And... Merciless Copper Crossbow! So that's another weapon. I accidentally dropped my crossbow on the ground before, so... <laughs> Not sure what it takes to make it. <laughs> Let's remake our Copper Crossbow. It's just plank and copper. And then for the merciless one, we need crude topaz. So let's go grab crude topaz. Sapphire, ruby, amethyst, mist stone, emerald, topaz. Here we go. Okay. Is it done? Yes. And then Merciless version. Go. There we go. We've got another one. It's 
So it's entirely possible that I will want to use this uh, crossbow for the Feywalker fight. Entirely possible. So I'm going to head to our Waygate to the west. We'll just see approximately where Pelora the Feywalker is. Okay, so she's far away. She's not very far away, but she's far away. So to the northwest. Um, so up here. Yeah. Interesting. So we'll head in that direction. And we'll just see what we find when we go there. Oh, so many of these plants. What's going on here? Poison plants. I don't like that. Oh, definitely in that direction. Shady dealer. Ooh. Tree ant walking around. Don't like that. I should be able to take on that tree ant by now. <laughs> but maybe... Maybe it would be best not to. So she's over there. Anybody got some blood? Well, I do need more blood. So, we do need more blood. These guys are turning around. Hmm. Sun resistance brew. I'll take more of that. Where'd the other guys go? 10% rogue. Uh, I guess I'll take your 10% because I need more blood. Regardless, I need more blood. Do you guys have better? No. Paper. Copper coin. Tainted heart. Fire blossom. So we're close to Pelora. He's in this direction. So what's in what's in here? Like we're close to her, but this is just like a wall. What's ahead here? What's what's in this direction here? I'm not sure. What's even over here? We're close. Is this... What is this? What is... What is even this? Go away, Mr. Gollum here. So this is a cliff. Okay, that's like... Lord of the Feywalker, though. We're, we're close, though. So she can't be here. Right? Hmm. 
Where is she? Where is the Feywalker? That direction? So across this cliff? Is Pelora the Feywalker? Um, okay. Well, don't wanna, didn't wanna do that. So I need to go around on the other side of this cliff to like in this region. Okay. Let's go back. I need to take this road. And, uh... Y'all got any good blood? We got a 22 brute. But, not interested. If there was a, like, higher level than that, I would be, I would be interested, but not, not for like 20s. Um, oh, acting. Okay, I only have 10 blood rose on me, so I can't make any more brew. Okay. Just checking, see if I can make any more along the way. Oh, well, there's some more. Oops. <laughs> Little more. What are you? Guard. You're a guard. You're 40% warrior. You're also level 40. Are you a V blood? Or just a very strong dude. Thirty-one percent brute, twenty-five percent rogue. Well, I guess we're we're doing this. I guess we're doing this. Weak guys first. Okay, 25% rogue. That's higher than what I currently have. As long as I don't kill you. Let me get some rogue blood. Is that 25% doesn't give me a double bonus, just a single bonus. Okay. Change it heart. Thread. Okay. It's something. It's something than, better than what I had before. So I want to go north of, north from here. And yeah, I'll keep following this road. And we'll just see if by the time I get there, uh, it turns nighttime. <laughs> That'll be nice. Ooh, more blood rose. Here we go. So she's basically north of here. That's, that's good. We're heading in the right direction. Just need to go around this uh, cliff here. So, well form. It's almost, it's about to turn night. So we should get there relatively soon, ideally. And we'll pop our, uh, our brew buff, buff brew. 
So we're about to enter a new region. Ooh, snow flower. We need that. And blood rose. Gleaming meadows. That sounds like a place that a fey walker would live in. Yeah. Snow flower. Let's see if we can get some snow flower seeds so that I can make the uh, the brew whenever I want to. So, eight. Nine. Let me go back to my spear for now. We'll, we'll just see what the, the fight is like. Got a lot of blood rose. Make another brew or two. This is a great place to get blood rose from. Look at all this. I will take. I will take all this. Is that her? Will you mind if I take all your blood rose? What's this? Trippy shroom. We got some trippy shroom. Interesting. Is that like... What does that give you? <laughs> trippy shroom. Is that for more potions as well? I'll just take all this uh, blood rose I can take. Flower. Are you the Fey Walker? You are. Is there anything else around here? No, we seem to be interesting. Are we ready? If you are looking for peace, you will find it with me. Hi. Cool. Interesting. Oh, I don't like that too much. Whoa, I don't like that much. Killing me real fast. Uh oh. You know what? I might be, might be best off using my. Uh... Here we go. Yeah. Might be best off using this. She's keeping her distance using long distance as well. Where are you at? Spirits, hear me. Uh oh. She's using spirits on me. Interesting fight. Uh-oh, she's got multiple spirits. That's not good. That's not good. I should take out her spirits. Oh no! I don't like these attacks. Spirits, hear me. 
Uh oh. I can't use any more. Uh oh. She's not dying very quickly. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is bad for me. Oh, this is very bad for me. Yeah. She is very strong. Oh, okay. Hmm. So the problem is that she shoots those attacks at, that just like wave back and forth, which makes it very difficult to land a hit on her. And she summons those... Oh, I hate it when they summon allies. I hate it when they summon allies. Ah. Uh, and I don't have a closer way gate than this. That sucks. I gotta go all the way back. And I need to get... <laughs> More, uh, Blood Rose Brew or something? I, I have an idea of what not to do. I can't let her keep summoning multiple of her allies. So I need to keep the pressure on her, because she healed. She was much... She she had a lot more damage on her. And then I, like, kept trying to dodge more than attack for too long. And I ended up letting her heal. So, kind of sabotaged my own efforts there. So, I need to keep the pressure up. I still have my bruise. Fortunately, they don't go away after death. The uh, buff for magic and attack. All right. So, take all. So she's still wandering. Let me get all this blood rose so I can get. We'll make more blood rose brew if I can. Um, this might be last. I need, I have one more filled water skin. I can make two potions. Okay, I got two Blood Rose Brews. The trees foretold your coming. Oh, she's got these. These rapid attacks. Ok, 
Okay, take out her friends. I hate this. Spirits, hear me. Oh, I died. She was almost dead. She was almost dead, and then I died. Ah. I want another way to get a little closer, please. I can take her. I can do this. I can do this. But now it's daylight. So it's going to be extra challenging to get over there just to try and fight her again. <sighs> She's just, whenever you get close, she has a bunch of different very rapid attacks. That wolf one, and then those wispy ones that wave back and forth. They're just super hard to dodge. It's really frustrating. It's like, if you make just a little mistake, she can absolutely wreck you. I need more blood, too. Um, 8% warrior. I hate how sometimes you get stuck and you can't move because there's water or something. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna give this one more try. Still have. My uh, brew's going. I used up all my heals already. Is she out in the open in the sun? Because if so, I will need to wait until it turns night again before I even start the fight. Yeah, she's out in the open in the sun. Darn it. Oh, she's like right here too. I'm just a forest animal, don't mind me. Don't mind me, just a forest animal. I don't think I can make any more Blood Rose brew. I think I'm out of the, uh, yeah. I only have Vermin Sav left. Uh. So I, I need to wait a bit. I 
need to wait until it's uh nighttime again. Hmm. I'll pull back over here. We'll just wait until night time and then we will attempt this again. What does that do? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Now I can go fight her again. And, uh, with only some vermin salve on me. This is gonna be difficult. The trees foretold you coming. Ouch. So hard to hit. No, 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 no. I'm already dying. And she healed it. Oh. Wow, she's already killing me. Okay, never mind. Pelora the Fey Walker. I see how it is. I'm gonna need a lot more healing potions for her. She hurts so quickly. Wow. Her firepower is insane. Like, N Nicholas the Fallen was tough. But she's like deceptively tough. Because it seems like you can jump in there and do a bunch of damage to her, but no. You get close, she rapid fires you. And then she uses her allies, and then she can heal her allies? What the... Alrighty then, let's go back to base. Alrighty, <laughs> that is unfortunate. So we're going to call it here for today. In this episode, we were finally able to defeat Nikolaus the Fallen. Uh, it took a good amount of concentration on that fight, and we were able to take him out, his waves of skeletons with our uh, merciless copper sword. That was the thing that we needed just to do enough damage to those guys to take him out quickly enough to actually get to the point where we could start hurting Niklaus. And then we got the paper press, which got us some random research. And uh, we just need to spend sawdust and plant fiber. And we can unlock the rest of the research at our research table. And then we went to try fighting Pelora the Feywalker. And she is by herself initially in a meadow. Um, we need to wait until it's nighttime because it's out in the open and in, in the full sun. However, Getting close to her is very dangerous because she will rapid fire attack you and do like a hundred damage in a few seconds if you're not very, very careful. Any slight mistake will be your doom in that fight. That's what I've learned. You need to be very careful and you need to have something faster than even the, uh, the crossbow because she summons allies that will do more of her like wavy smoke ball attacks and each of those do 30 damage to you 
So you need to take out her allies very quickly. And then you also need to keep the pressure on her. Otherwise, she will heal very quickly. Oh, it's... It's, it's another very challenging boss fight, which is actually <laughs> pretty interesting. Um, up until Nikolaus and Polora, I, I haven't really been challenged from the boss fights too much. I mean, Tristan was also a much higher level boss that I took out just by um, cheesing him, basically. <laughs> but this one, there's no way I can see to, uh, to kill her without also dealing with her allies at the same time. So I'm going to have to figure something out as far as a strategy that will allow me to to defeat her without well, minimizing the damage that I take. And we're going to have to make a bunch more Blood Rose Brew. Just we need to have heals. So in the next episode, we're going to make more brew. We're going to take out Polora. That's going to be the primary objective of the next episode is to take her out. So if you'd like to follow along in our adventure and see how these boss fights go, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to make a comment down below or hit the like button, that would be appreciated as well. So until next time, thanks for watching.